Star Castle for the Atari 2600. Oh man. I mean, I got a lot of other games I can play. Not to mention, I was, you know, I do need to practice on my bass and other s instruments, but I can't right now. I'm, I've got Star Castle. And when you've got Star Castle for Atari 2600, you pretty much can't do anything else but pop that cartridge in and play some Star Castle on Atari 2600. Because life is too short. If you've got the chance to do it, you, you better do it. Believe me, I have a lot of choices, man. Not just in video games. Well, yeah, mostly out of video games. But other hobbies I'm trying to cultivate, but nah. I've got Atari 2600 Star Castle, and I just have to. Oh. What I'm trying to say, it, it is as fun as you might think. <laughs> oh, man. Now we're talking. Oop. Get used to the fact that your ship is pretty fast, only a little bit squirrely, but actually, um, those are the kind of attributes that if you can master, you'll be, oh, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> you know, I was about to race this video, and I think it may not be on the settings I want, but this video is kind of funny. Get my butt kicked. Oh, but I got some revenge! Let's make this a Rocky movie where I fight back. There we go. I just saw something on the Switch I didn't like and I I changed it. Let's make this like a Rocky video where I face adversity. I lost a couple lives early, but I... Oh! That's not getting it done. Look, I'm, I don't expect to die when I run into the shields. That's an optional setting. I'm used to bouncing off the shields and I died. That's actually pretty cool. So, there are different ways you can play Star Castle based on your A and B and your A and B over here and different combinations give you a different kind of game. This particular combination is where when you crash into the shield you die and you know I'll do it there. Game over. You know as much as I love bouncing off the shield on Star Castle, and probably gonna fix this real quick, so that's all I can do. This option where you, uh, oh look, new high score, Mac. The cartridge saves your high scores. It saves your high scores even if you uh, don't have any kind of battery backup. The reason it's asked me to do that is because I never played the version where you die when your ship hits the shields, and that's what I just played by accident, and it keeps a different. There's different, you know, sections of, not only does it save your high score, but it knows if you saved your high score based on what game. So I played this game where when I run into the shields, I blow up, and that's a whole separate category, and that's why it's asking me about my initials. I was just a little bit surprised that it asked me about my initials. Uh, anyway, because I didn't get that great a score. So anyway, it's just a great game, and... As far as running into the shield and blowing up, I actually think that that's probably how the game should play. Um, that's like a whole different category, but it's pretty cool. I like bouncing off the shields, but getting killed when you run into the shields kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Man, what a good game. It's getting deeper.